What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's been a while since I made a video, I know. Uh, my apologies about that. It's been, things have just been crazy lately. Um, recently just uh, got done building a new house, so trying to move everything in here. Um, finally got some space cleared in the garage where I can start working on this thing again. Um, but we're back with the Mustang GT and we've got a pretty cool video in store for you today. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anyone do a video uh, with this specific modification. I guess I've, I've seen them do this video with this modification, but not specifically what I'm doing. Um, something similar, but not, not sp this sp uh, specific. Anyway, so, man, I don't even want to show you guys. I want to be a surprise, but uh, I guess I got, I got to reveal it. So, uh, if you don't already know by the thumbnail, what we're doing today is... We are going to be changing the color of the car completely. I know, crazy, right? All right, so hopefully that's coming through okay. Um, but yeah, here we are. Gloss Nardo Gray Vinyl Wrap. Um, I bought it from cheetahwraps.com. So I'll put the link in the description from where I got it from. Um, but they, they sell some pretty good product uh, for a really great price. Um, they, they're, they make the wrap, so you, there's no middleman on it, so you're getting a really good price if you do want to do this yourself. Um, so right now we're on the front driver's side quarter panel here. Um, I've already laid it on and started to uh, squeegee it out. Um, now don't get me wrong, this I make these videos because I want you guys to be able to try this stuff at home, um, but no disrespect to any of the professional installers it's not a, it's not something that anybody can do i mean it, i don't want to make it sound like it's just easy it's not easy um by all means if you don't have you know 40 hours to death well if you don't have a basically a full work week worth of uh time to install it properly on your first try pay the pay the professional to do it um if you do want a project that you can work on and you don't need you know you don't need the car for a little while and you can do it yourself and you got plenty of time, do it yourself. You'll save yourself a ton of money. Um, so what we've started to do here is lay it down. That's the, that's the first thing. We prepped the surface, we laid the wrap down. I had to take the uh, badges off down here, the 5.0 badges. I hated them anyway. I hated the chrome ones, they're gone. So I'm gonna set the camera up and let you guys see me laying it down on this, on this uh, fender here and you can watch the rest of the process and how I get the bubbles out how I'm kind of pulling on the vinyl, not too hard, but you know, just to get the tension out of it. And yeah. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys around the car a little bit first here, let you see what I have done. Um, obviously haven't gotten the front bumper done yet. I did put a little black vinyl inlay in here. Um, I'm not decided on whether I want to leave that or not. Let me know what you guys think if you like that. I kind of did it with the contours of the stock front grille. Uh, kept, the, kept those lines going there. I like it. I think I might end up leaving it and just uh, use the knifeless tape to lay the Nardo gray in along the edges there so they don't have to take it off. But let me know what you guys think, if I should leave it or not. Because the, the front bumper is going to be the last thing that I do. Um, and then we'll make a you know a, re a reveal video on that once I'm done with it. Um, I might just make this all one video, but I still want to know what you guys' opinion is on that black on the front there. So the badges, let me show you on the other side of the car, I've got the whole side of the car down here passenger side's pretty much done um those are the new emblems i put on the gloss black with the red i think it really pops nice on that nardo gray um still do have to finish the rocker panels down here but that's a fairly easy piece to do in comparison to the rest of the car um got my pro dyno stuck on the windshield there you know i got the roof done removed the, and I did it right. I mean, I removed the, removed the antenna, uh, removed the mirror, got to finish wrapping the mirror, but I had, I took the mirror off, you know, took the door handle apart, um, did the little inlays in here on the door handle. So it's nice one piece, um, turned out pretty good. And then I'll show you the back of the car too here. Show you where we're at. So really the only main body panel I have left to do is the Driver's side door. Once I'm done with the fender, I'm going to tackle the door and get it all done today. There's the back. 
think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to leave the tail light covers on there or not, but I did black out the uh, reverse light as well. Um, I just think it looks so sick compared to how it used to look. Uh, thinking about doing the spoiler in black too. I did have to remove that already to get the wrap, you know, up underneath it and everything. So I removed the spoiler. Probably going to take it off again, do it in black. Um, yeah, it turned out really good. Sorry about that. Trying to get the camera set up here. Okay. So I'm going to leave the camera right here. And I'm going to let you watch me do this last section here. Um, I do see a bubble in there. I got to knock out real quick. Um, so I got my squeegee. Uh, there's a bubble right here. I missed it when I was squeegeeing it down. So there's a couple ways to get bubbles out. Um, obviously, the preferred way would be to... Um, lift the film all the way up and I still can do that I mean I'm, I'm probably just gonna end up doing that lift the film back up and get the bubble out like that the only thing I already laid down a significant portion of it another way to do it kind of cheating poke it with a needle uh, poke a tiny hole with a needle heat it with a gun press the air out of it that way you really can't see that you did it um, got some air in here still yeah, so a couple ways to do it. Honestly, with that one, I don't. I've already gotten this really nice. I'm gonna try and poke it, see if I can get it out like that. I know you guys, you're pros at this. You're like, what are you doing? Don't poke a hole in it. I've done it several times. I haven't had any water get underneath it or any issues. If you heat it up afterwards, fine. Um, I gotta lift this back up again, unfortunately get these air bubbles out there we go okay so wrong end of the squeegee um so i got this see the problem with this is if you don't keep the tension right it's nearly impossible to get these wrinkles out you got to keep the tension perfect um otherwise you're going to create wrinkles and you're not going to be able to remove wrinkles and it's going to end up looking like poop and you're going to end up tearing it off getting frustrated and just saying forget it <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that, but I've been close already. Been close to doing that. Um, so we'll worry about that little bubble later. I don't even know if it's, I mean, it kind of just, it already, this does have air release technology in it, this, this wrap from Cheetah Wrap. So, I mean, it, it did, it already released itself. It, it distributed it probably somewhere throughout the wrap. I don't see it, but there's little channels under the wrap that kind of help release the air. But we did get that bubble out. There may have just been negative pressure behind that bubble, so pressing it down actually, um, there wasn't actually any air volume, significant air volume behind it that had to be removed. So just it was, it just let me press it down. Um, okay, so what we're doing down here, you got to kind of take the wrinkles and do a light, light, light stretching pressure on it. You know, I, I just created a crease right there. Pop it back up, no big deal. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of putting some tension on it and then I'm gonna squeegee it down. There we are. You just gotta lift. When you get to the sections where there's a lot of potential for there to be creases, meaning like the, the contour changes, yeah, you end up having to just lift it a lot. You gotta lift the vinyl and yeah, so you get you start to get these little these little creases and you gotta fix them one at a time as you do it. Um, but basically you wanna keep the proper tension on the film so that you don't create the wrinkles. And you see a lot of these guys, they call it making glass. Like you wanna make glass with the vinyl. You wanna you wanna get the wrinkles out before you squeegee it down because the adhesive's not really activated until you put pressure on it. So you want to get the you want to try to get these wrinkles out before um, before you squeegee it down, which is what I'm doing here. I'm kind of trying to stretch it flat. I don't want to stretch too much. You can stretch it about 10% without there being any distortion in color. Um, and it depends on the color that you're using. If you're using like a metallic or a chrome um, those are a lot more rigid films and 
there's a pattern in there and you're more likely to show a distorted color when you stretch those than if you are uh, if you're stretching a, a gloss like this gloss is pretty much the easiest to work with in my opinion um, you start working with matte finishes and if you overstretch it it might start to look gloss um, but the gloss pretty much stays gloss you'll just screw up the the color and make it look lighter or faded if it's overstretched so really don't stretch it more than 10% but you want to stretch it a little bit because that's how you're going to get these wrinkles out okay it's coming along nicely though this was I've gotten better. I've definitely gotten better at it. Definitely gotten better at it. When I first started this, man, this would have taken me hours to do this fender. And I'm already, well, I laid it down maybe like 15 minutes I got it this, this far. Um, so as you go along in the car, you're going to get better at it. Let's see, I got some of this tension right here. Some of the wrinkles. I'm going to lift it up. And then I'm gonna press it back down. You don't wanna try and press through the wrinkle, you wanna lift up and then push the wrinkle down with the rest of the film. You don't you don't wanna to try to push through a wrinkle, you're just gonna create a crease in the film. These baby bubbles stuck in here. I don't know why. Let me get them out. Okay. And then uh, once I get to the edge like this, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna run it along the edge to make sure I got it pressed down and it's not gonna lift back up on me on the panel. Because I'm gonna make my cut right in that opening there. And I'm just gonna fold over the little bit of excess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave maybe an eighth of a quarter of an inch excess just to round the body panel, make it around it. And then I'm gonna apply heat and make sure it's pressed and the heat's gonna really activate the adhesive uh, and it's gonna make it stick. You leave, well, I see a lot of people leave too much thinking like, well, I gotta leave a lot to fold it around. That's, that's better. The more I leave around, the stronger the hold's gonna be. The more you leave around, the more likely it, uh, the more you leave and fold around, the more likely it is that it's going to lift back up. Uh, so you don't want to do that. So where we're at now, getting close to the bottom here, pressing these wrinkles out, or pressing this extra film down here. Okay, looking good. Got a little bit of extra film going on there. You just gotta be careful that, you know, you don't trap air bubbles in the middle of the panel and then you come along and you're like, you're done with it. Kind of like I was up here and you're like, oh, there's a giant bubble in the center. Then you gotta lift it all back up and then it gets messy. So just be very mindful of where you're squeegeeing and make sure you're pushing all the air out as you're going along. Okay. Bam, there we are. We're already at the bottom here. It's the bottom of the panel. I think that turned out pretty good. Okay, so we're done down here. It's all pressed on the car. You can kind of see the holes where the emblem used to be. I'm gonna, I got the new ones. I'm gonna throw those on there once I'm done. So I won't even cut holes in that because they're just 3M'd on. The other ones had like alignment uh, pins that went into the fender. The OEM one. Yeah, I mean, I have these, these little alignment pins that kind of went on there, but um, we're not using that again. We're going to go with the new one. The, yeah, to get this off, I, I had to use a combination of dental floss and the heat gun. Uh, also, be really careful with the heat gun. <laughs> Gave myself a nasty little burn yesterday. You don't realize how hot these things get, but, I mean, all I did was just touch that metal again to uh, my wrist by mistake and it singed me pretty good so don't leave that leaning on anything when you're done with it the heat gun be really careful of that um, let it cool before you put it away anything like that uh, it's kind of like using an iron in your house except it gets a lot hotter okay so that looks great um, what I'm gonna do next is just kind of finish this piece finish laying it in up here getting the wrinkles out, and then I'm gonna start to trim, and I'll, I'll bring you guys back in for that. All right, guys, so got it finished. You can see that I uh, 
Got it all trimmed up around the edges. Looks real good. Folded it over on the corners and shit like that. Um, let me give you an idea of how much I left. Bring you in over here. Oh, I didn't leave a lot. See, I kind of folded it over. You know, I left, let me get to focus, maybe a quarter of an inch up here. And just folded it over and then heated it to get to stick. Um, so now what we get to do, the fun part, put on this nice new badge here. Shiny new 5-0 badge. Shiny new 5-0. All right, so pull out a bag. All right. It's my favorite part. Putting on new badges. It looks so good. Okay. Now to get it to, I, I, I used buffing compound, polishing compound on this, so I can't even tell really where it used to be. But these, I'm glad these are here because I can kind of use them as a reference to line it up a little bit. I think right there, pretty good. I think that's pretty damn level. Looks good. From where I'm sitting, it looks good. Put a little feet on that, not a lot, just to warm it up. Bam. What do you guys think? You like that look or not i think it looks just great that gray with the black compared to this now this was my favorite color the magnetic metallic but this is my actual favorite color that was my favorite color that was offered by ford this is the favorite color so yeah let me know what you guys think of that um now i'm gonna tackle the door and i'll pull the car outside and let you guys look at it there's a little shout out to these guys. Not sponsored by them or anything like that. Would take a sponsorship, of course, <laughs> but uh, definitely not sponsored. Um, but they sent in this nice box and it's rolled up, comes with stands, uh, and it has a nice protective film over the vinyl that you peel back, a clear film that protects the, the gloss finish or whatever finish you have, it protects the film until you're ready to peel it off um, so you don't have like a swirl or scratch appearance or anything like that. But uh, this stuff was really easy to work with. Liked it a lot. Um, at $3.95 for a 75 foot roll is all it costs. Um, and that's more than enough to do the whole car. Uh, you have some left over too. I think, honestly, you probably need about to do this car. Um, I'll end up needing maybe 50, not even, not even 50 feet. So you'll end up with a good amount left over do other projects but yeah I'll show you guys when I get that door done I'll back it out um, and then the next project will just be dun 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 the bumper gotta take the whole thing off gotta undo the bumper gotta undo the, the splitters on the bottom gotta pull the grills off fog lights all that so yeah, check it out so far I think it turned out great All right, so what we're gonna do first, put the ramps. I keep saying what we're doing first, then I keep giving you a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different things that we're doing first. So putting the ramps on the edge of the garage so I can get the front end of the car in the garage up on the ramps, because it looks like it might rain. And I am not trying to be doing this in the rain. So we'll at least get the front end of the car in here. Right now I got all my crap in here, all kinds of junk. Uh, extra sets of wheels so we'll get that in here and then uh, we'll start tearing it down yeah perfect thing to watch while working on my car <laughs> not really but 
if you guys see my channel at all, the rest of my channel, you know I love me some gaming. Um, so got the car up on some, part way up on the ramps. <clears throat> so up under here, I know we gotta remove a bunch of screws. Unfortunately, I think they're the screws that are, I'm gonna have to take this lower splitter off first and then take the rest of them out. All right, guys, working on taking off this top piece here. Uh, there's several little push pin clips, four here, four on the other side, and then I should be able to just pull this right off. So we're almost done with that. One more. Boom, got them all out. I'm, I'm keeping these with this in a separate pile so I don't get these things mixed up when I'm putting it back together. Um, yeah, that's it. The shroud came off there. Okay. And it looks like on the top we've got maybe like a six, five millimeter, something real small here. Um, and I'm doing this for the first time, so it looks like maybe a five millimeters, real small. And a seven, more sevens. Most of them are sevens that hold this on all the way across the top here. So we're gonna take those off. And then I think after that, since we've already taken off that shroud underneath, um, I removed all the clips and all the bolts. There's like 20 of them. And the whole uh, skid plate, plastic skid plate there, came off. So if, you, if I hadn't done that, I would have had to pull the bumper and that off in one piece. And I, I'm working by myself, so I didn't want to have to maneuver this bumper with that other big piece attached to it. So took that off, now it's just the bumper. And this, hello, dropping stuff. Um, this bottom one is, the only thing holding that on right now is some double-sided tape because I took all the screws out of it. So, should all come off in one piece. Let's uh, let's get going. Bam. So, got the bumper off. <laughs> a lot of screws, a lot of screws, a lot of clips. I mean, there's piles of them everywhere. There's probably, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe 60 screws clips fasteners that you need to remove to get this thing off of here and to get it all taken apart but got it off got the grills out got the splitter off now i just got the bumper cover right there nice and bare ready to be wrapped so took a little bit of time but just be careful when you're doing it these clips to remove the grill are i, I can see where they could be kind of fragile so uh just be careful you don't break those off. Otherwise, uh, if, if you snap them off, it, they're attached to the bumper cover, so the only you can't really fix them. The only way to, if you bust a bunch of them off, your grill might not sit in there properly. You'd have to end up super gluing it, fastening it another way. Um, or if you broke them all, thinking you didn't, it didn't really matter, I mean, you'd have to replace the whole bumper cover, and those, those can get pretty pricey. So the way I'm gonna do this is I left the grills and stuff outside. I'm gonna wash those, scrub them up nice and good, and reapply some Cerakote uh, ceramic coating to those plastic pieces. This, I'm gonna lay it down across the two chairs I got sitting over there and face up, and that way I can, you know, start to clean it, wrap it, that type of thing. So, man, this thing is pretty crazy. Uh-oh. It's all attached, somewhere. I think it's attached by anything. Let's just go in here. There we go. Pretty flimsy, really. I mean, <laughs> not much to this. Maybe weighs 10 pounds. Give me something new. I want it back. sturdy yeah so i mean if you got a couple folding chairs they hold it and it fits right over top there pretty nice um so yeah 
All right, what we're gonna do now, I got some old vinyl on here and some paint protection film. I gotta strip all that off. And then I'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol wipes and some panel wipe. Get it, you know, get it ready to go. Um, and yeah, then we're gonna start laying the wrap on. I'll show you where I'll do the inlays when I do them. Um, I'm gonna have to do a small inlay here and a small inlay here. And then probably gonna have to do another small inlay right here. Um, yeah. But yeah, other than that, um, well, and then maybe one under here. This is gonna be wrapped as a separate piece. So I, won't, I guess I won't have to do an inlay for that most likely if I can manipulate it around this curve right here. But we're gonna wrap this separately for sure. And then trim it in there with some knifeless tape. And yeah, should be fairly straightforward. Just gonna take us some time. All right, I've been taking this paint protection film off and the other vinyl and I had to stop. I had to show you guys this. So. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, um, check them out, but uh, I'll show you how I install some paint protection film and whatnot. So I've got like 30,000 miles on this car. Ooh, look at that guy. Get out of here. B. Um, I install paint protection film. I got about 30,000 highway miles on this car. I drive to work on the highway every day. And I took the paint protection film off this. Look at the paint on this thing. After 30,000 highway miles. See any rock chips in there? No, there's none. I mean, there's none. This paint looks amazing. That paint protection film is one of the best things I've ever, I've ever done in my car. I think if you get a new car, it's probably the best mod you can do right to start out. If it doesn't already have it. I mean, you can have places apply it, but I mean, to have it seamlessly done. Now, I got a couple little seams on here, like this one right here, because it was my first time applying it. I didn't do it in one solid piece. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to do it and I'd have to tear it off. So I, I, I cut it a couple places. Can't really tell at all. If you can deal with that little minor line on there, um, you're gonna save yourself a ton of money. To The, the product itself will probably cost you maybe 40 bucks to do the whole front bumper. Um, I called around a bunch of different shops, wanted $500 just through the front bumper, 500. So I saved myself $460 just to deal with that little line right there that you can hardly see. Uh, I would recommend doing it that way. Um, unless you're really good and you know what you're doing, you can do it in one piece. Of course, go ahead and do that. You probably already know that anyway, but uh, just put it on yourself, guys. It's, it's, it's crazy. I did the whole hood in one solid piece my first try. That was okay. And that cost me about 120 for that whole sheet but they wanted 500 for the hood, 500 for the front bumper. It would have cost me $1,500 to have them install the paint protection film I installed on this car for 200. And the same with the vinyl wrap. I mean, I paid 395 for the whole roll, 75 foot roll. I'm gonna do the entire car with it. They wanted $2,200 for this car? Like, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, I did $3,700 of work for six hundred dollars in material you know i got a thirty seven hundred dollar job for six hundred dollars just by doing it myself so if you guys are wondering how i do all these mods to my car and how do i have the money to pay for all these mods i mean i'd be over 10 grand in mods right now if i hadn't done all this stuff myself and i don't even have a blower on the thing so yeah just wanted to share, share that with you guys all right guys oh we are just about done so we got the bumper wrapped up um, turned out pretty good. There's a couple little things I gotta finish up here, like this edge. But, um, overall, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, so now we gotta get everything put back together, and it is now dark outside. Oh boy, that was that was not fun. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start piecing this thing back together. I can't wait to show you guys when it's done.
Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't even been able to do a full reveal on the car yet. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, someone someone did back into the car, but we got the car fixed. We got it fixed correctly. Um, now we just got to wait like 30 days for the paint to gas out before I can uh, put the wrap back on the door and the front fender. Um, but you still at least got to see the car before, <laughs> before the accident. Um, so it wasn't a complete reveal of it being totally done, but you still got to see it. Um, as soon as I, you know, as soon as, uh, as soon as that paint's done curing, we we'll able to finish it up and then do another reveal, hopefully. Uh, but in the meantime, we got other stuff in the plan for the car. Uh, got some other mods coming up, so stay tuned.